Announcing his candidacy for the Texas Speaker of the House position this week, local representative James Frank is the fourth to challenge current Speaker Dade Phelan. Natalie McCain sat down with a Republican representative. So Natalie, what is Frank hoping to tackle first if he's elected? Yeah, well, Daryl, pointing towards strained relationships between Phelan and Attorney General Ken Paxton and what he says is an unnecessary focus on controversial matters, Frank's immediate goal is to just patch things up talent on the bench and Texas loses. It's why Texoma representative James Frank is challenging Dade Phelan for speaker of the Texas House. If you stop talking with somebody you disagree with, it's over. Like you just can't do that. He's been a speaker for four years and there's there's a lot of good in it and there's a lot of challenges that we've had and I think it's uh, and I think obviously I'm not the only one. Calling for a refresh, Frank says Phelan's service as speaker since 2021 has left much to be desired. Probably 15 or 20 bills a year that are highly partisan and we just need to get those done. We have spent far too much time on a small number of controversial bills. And sometimes that has kept us from focusing on all of the blocking and tackling. If elected, Frank aims for all Republican chairs to expedite conservative legislation. Roads, water, child welfare, Medicaid, you know, a lot of things that we're doing that are not highly partisan. To me, we need to make sure that we're doing, to me, the partisan stuff so that we can still continue to spend uh, our time on the 90 to 95 percent of bills uh, that are that. Republican and Democrats expect. Plus, with a focus on concise communication and member empowerment, forging stronger relationships with those already in leadership. I definitely want to continue to shepherd some of the improvements that we made in the foster care system and and honestly some of the changes and some of the improvements I want to make on medical I don't think can be done without uh, a little more influence. I think some of the changes I would like on health care won't happen unless the speaker, lieutenant governor, or governor behind it. Despite his strong partisan standpoint. I've talked to several Democrats since I filed, I mean, I guess probably four or five Democrats since I filed that have called me and, uh, you know, to a person, everybody says, well, you always talk and you listen. Frank, with a mission of giving each district a voice. Now, representatives Tom Oliverson of Cyprus, Shelby Slauson of Stephenville, and David Cook of Mansfield joined Frank in challenging Speaker Phelan in November. For a closer look at the story, visit texomashomepage.com. All right, we'll have to see what comes of this yep. election here in November for sure. Well, all right, Allie, we appreciate you getting that story for us. Thank you so much.